Hello, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome to your weekly love forecast for January 14th to the 20th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. Also, the Eye of Zen is back up on Amazon.com. And all the information is in the description box below. And also, guys, if you'd like a personal read with me, go on to my website, JenniferWalkerZen.com, or check out the description box below. All right. So, and you know, Geminis, I don't like to take too much of your time. So let's jump right in. We're going to talk about your day today, your love interest feelings, the block delays and challenges, and then the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue to do it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You to go, <laughs> or you can do both. Let's jump right in. Oh my goodness, what's going on with me? All right. Um, I think it's probably because I don't do caffeine anymore. I have stopped drinking caffeine. All right. So, so let's move into this Gemini. So Gemini, don't forget you can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. Your sun sign represents your soul, your moon sign represents your emotions, and your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these Gemini make up who you are, so feel free to cross lots for more information. We're going to love interest feelings here, the block delays and challenges, and then the overall outcome here. Okay, so... Gemini, this is going to be January 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, and 20th. So let's first start off with your blockage for this week. Okay, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This could stand for a person. Because remember what I always tell you about the people cards, which is the court cards. They're the people cards. It can be people. Just like Lenormand, they can represent people. And... Um, or it could be the sense of, am I making the best choice when it comes to love, romance? You know, from my past experience of what I've been through, am I doing the best, making the best decision in love? Okay, so, and for some reason, for some of you, I feel a Pisces energy, okay? So definitely a Pisces, like, kind of popped in there, so that's for some of you, of course. All right, so, we got the Eight of Cups energy, so on the 14th, may want to be careful about this energy because this eight of cups can represent two things okay it can represent you know i'm ready to walk away from this situation okay or i don't want to deal with my emotions today eight of cups energy it also can be when you you can just see this person's just like all right i got all these cups here i'm not trying to deal with them i'm not trying to deal with this today okay so and then we got the next day even though this not wanting to deal with emotions wanting to walk away we see the next day there's a reconciliation that happens with the judgment card energy and then the next day, hmm, there's a defeated energy with the Five of Swords energy. Okay, I don't want to deal with things today. Um, I want to walk away from a reconciliation. I'm defeated. I don't know if I should stand up and fight or walk away. And if we look at the numbers, I want to put the work or effort into things that come, kind of go in my favor, rule in my favor. And I'm ready for some change here or freedom here with the Five Card energy. So let's see how this is going to play out as we get more information here, Gemini. All right, what's going to have my Gemini's romance and love life for January 14th to the 20th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, what is this Eight of Cups about? We see a person card. All right, what's the next card? We got the letter card. And we got the whip card. Okay. Now, the person card could be you, could be the love interest, could be a person infringing upon the connection. It's representing a person involved in the situation. So we see that there's this person here, and this is the reason why you're just like, I don't want to deal with this, I want to walk away. And then it looks like you're going to receive some kind of text message, a letter, document about a reconciliation. And then the next day it's like, I'm feeling hurt, I'm feeling uh, a lot of pain. Uh, I want to argue my point about this defeated energy in this reconciliation, okay? And then if we look at the numbers of this, 2 plus 9 is 10, 11, and then we see another 11 card. That adds up to 2. So there's some choices being made in the next couple days, and 2 plus 7 is 8, 9, about what you want, what your desires are here in the situation, okay? And it looks like it's going to be because of this text message letter document about this judgment, about things that are rolling in your favor, okay? Judgment can be healing. Judgment also, maybe you guys, some of you guys are dealing with a legal situation as well with that judgment card being there. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's see what's going on. What's going to have my Gemini's romantic love life for January 14th to the 20th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so we see there, there's a person here and something to do with family. And this is why you're kind of like, I want to walk away. I don't want to deal with this. 
And then we see the next day, I'm very happy, things are rolling in my favor, and there's this text message letter document. Okay, and then we see that there's some spiritual lessons here about these arguments and fights and this defeated energy happening on the 16th. So we see family, long-term, a sense of happiness, and there's some spiritual lessons around this, or spiritual connection, or you guys are using your intuition here. Okay, so it looks like um, Gemini, it looks like this person or your person or you could be wanting to defend your position here. Um, it looks like there's people that are coming at you and you're kind of like, all right, you know what? I want to fight for this. I have the higher ground. I know that I'm right here. Seven of Wands energy. When it comes to ending, stopping, or completing the situation. So we can be friends, okay? Or for some of you, you're defending your position uh, when, when it comes to your friends that may be trying to give you advice and you're just like, no, this is what I want, okay? Kind of energy. But we'll see how that plays out, okay? At the overall outcome. And then we see Gemini on the 18th, the Queen of Cups energy is coming out. Now the Queen of Cups has to do with love and devotion. Again, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. And again, we see here, okay, there's a water sign coming out. And also the, when I see the Queen of Cups, it's like, I need some advice, right, about emotions. Or I need to figure out what I want emotionally here. And what's that about? Doll card could be a friend. Okay, could be a sense of loyalty. Maybe I need to figure out what I want emotionally when it comes to loyalty and friendliness with this person in this reconciliation. Okay, let's keep going. So it looks like by the 19th, you guys are going to get the answers and the clarity that you need. So the answers that you've been looking for with the Ace of Swords energy. And it's really going to make you happy here with the Sun card energy. And it looks like there could be the reason why you may find clarity in the fact that there could have been some issues around money and finance that could have been hindering your romantic love life. Or for some of you, this is like the Ace of Pentacles energy. There's some serious offer here. You're getting some things revealed and giving clarity about it. And then we see, this is a really up and down week, Gemini. Oh my goodness, now we got the Five of Wands energy. There's some arguments and fights with the Five of Wands energy. Or someone wants to fight for their position here. And it's still hopeful, though, with the star card energy of a positive outcome. But we see the arguments and fights or the sense of wanting a positive outcome that somebody is not being honest with the fox card energy coming out, like uh, the deception cards coming out. All right, let's bring this all together in a cohesive thing here, Gemini. All right, so we see that there are some... The issues going on with family and conflict and trying to resolve that and trying to be very happy here with the Ten of Cups energy. You guys are trying to use your intuition. Possibly some of you are leaning on friends for support or friends are somehow infringing upon your romantic love life or there's, an, uh, there's a connection with somebody who is a friend that you're going to reconcile with or heal in this connection. It looks like it could be a person who's at work here with the money card coming out. And there's a sense of, man, can I tell the truth? Is there, you know, can I be honest about the situation? Or for some of you, there's a reconciliation happening and there's some serious offer here on the table, but then in the sense of you guys are like, yeah, but are they telling me the truth or they're, they're being honest with me? Okay, all right, so let's bring this all together. Okay, so we have a person who's gonna send you a letter or message or document because they feel hurt because they feel a lot of pain or they want to argue their point about this ending in a friendship or loyalty and revealing some things that are, are going to be very hopeful for you for a positive outcome. Okay. So obviously you're going to re, you're getting it, some enlightenment. You're going to get some revealing things happening here. You're getting some clarity here in what's going on with this situation because this person really wants to fight for this. All right. And they want to defend their position. So we say, I want to walk away from this reconciliation. I'm defeated. But then it's like, I want to defend my position, okay? I want to fight for this. And so you're kind of like, well, maybe I should be patient here to kind of figure out what I want emotionally. And then you kind of get some evidence, some answers, some clarity with the Ace of Swords energy. And then you're going to argue, fight, or debate about the situation with the five card energy about this change or the sense of freedom, all right, or the challenges around this opportunity. Okay, so we're going to see more information when we do the overall outcome here, Gemini. So let's keep going. All right, how does your love interest, the one you're here for, the one you want to know about, how do they feel about you? And actually tomorrow I'm going to do a more extensive reading on this. We got the High Priestess card energy. We got the Strength card energy. And we have the Six of Pentacles energy. So we can see they're keeping some things to themselves or they feel like there's an error mystery about you, Gemini. 
This person lacks the courage or confidence and strength because they feel like you're not giving them an equal amount of time. We have the garden card energy, we have the scythe card energy, and we have the tower card energy. Yeah, this person feels completely separated. They feel isolated from the situation. They really want a decision to be made. They feel like there's an air of mystery or something secret here because they may feel like you have other people in your life with the garden card energy. This person is trying to be hopeful of a positive outcome, but they are stressing here, Gemini, because they have romantic feelings for you. Okay, straight up. They have romantic feelings for you. Okay, so let's keep going here, Gemini. All right, now let's take a look closer at this blockage for this week. Am I gonna make the best decision in love? Because this is a really surprise to me with the bouquet card energy. And this person is a bit obsessed and there's a lot of strong desires. Obviously, because it seemed like there was like this back and forth energy between you and this person of them wanting to defend their position. I wanna reconcile with you, I wanna be with you. And it was like a back and forth energy. It looked like it was going on this week, right? Even till the last day there. And it looked like you were getting the answers and the clarity that you needed here about the situation. And we see the blockage is, all right, yes, this person's really obsessed with me. There's a strong desire, there's attraction here, but am I really making the best decision when it comes to love and romance? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Okay, so let's take a look at the overall outcome here, Gemini. There is the devil card energy. Yes, there is an obsessed person here. Okay. And we do see that you guys are going to be very happy because we did see the Sun card energy with the Ace of Swords. And the, the Page of Swords is coming out. You're going to get new perspective, new ideas. Or this is kind of like, you're kind of like this individual is like completely out of my wheelhouse. It's not somebody that I'm used to, right? Or they may have a sense that they're being a little immature there with the Page of Swords energy. So it's definitely a lot of back and forth energy going on this week. This person's very obsessed and or there's strong desires around this connection that really make you happy but on the same token you're just like this person's really immature or they're just kind of different than what i'm used to it's kind of new ideas and new concepts about this person okay so we got the rain card energy we have the fox card energy and we have the mountain card energy we see there's a commitment that someone's not being honest about when it comes to delays and challenges and then we go further, and that seemed like the, also the back and forth kind of energy that was going on. It's like, are they being honest with me? Are they being real with me about the situation? So there's some indecisions or a choice that you're gonna have to make about your happiness this week. And it looks like there's going to be a lot of heart chart conversations and communications that's going to give you new perspective, which also could explain that Ace of Swords energy about you revealing some things and getting some clarity here about these delays and challenges. And remember that was also clarified by the Ace of Pentacles or from my deck, the, the money card. So you're going to get clarity in the answers that you need, obviously, and it's gonna be revealed to you, but still you're, it's definitely gonna be some back and forth energy going on this week, so just be aware of that, okay? All right, my beautiful Geminis, I love you guys so much. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Of course, this is only the weekly, so you guys can check out the monthlies for more information or the next two weeks, which is also up and available for you guys to watch. And if you were wondering what did they secretly want to tell you that they haven't, that reading is up and available for you guys to watch right now as well. All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. The next reading, as I told you before, is going to be how do they truly feel about you, okay? And guys, yes, I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love to hear from you guys in the comments below. All right, I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in another date or two.